Thanks for joining us. We begin tonight with the release of some disturbing video showing an attack on nurses. In a hospital as a patient begins attacking in... Four Twin Cities nurses are recovering. It is hard to watch, but it shows just how dangerous the job can be. Our traumatic event last fall shows the need in Minnesota to prevent violence before it happens. And nurses say once and for all, Violence is not part of the job. I know how important it is to prevent workplace violence for ourselves and our patients. I am so proud of all the nurses who went to the Capitol and testified, told personal stories, wrote letters, or made phone calls asking legislators to vote in favor of this bill. Your efforts really paid off. Because nurses came out in droves to support this legislation, we got the necessary votes to make this a law. Passing this legislation is a huge success and nurses should feel very proud of their efforts. Now it's important that we also exercise all the rights under this law. The law has been written and we need to hold our facilities accountable to implement the law as it was written and hold them accountable for all facets of this law. So, what can nurses do? You can volunteer to be on your facilities committee to develop a violence prevention plan which legally must include frontline staff. If you realize that the committee has not been formed or has not created a violence prevention plan, contact your M&A chair or labor representative. Ask your manager when your facility is providing training to all staff as required by the new law. If there is no training being offered, again, talk with your M&A chair or labor representative. Ask your supervisor to explain the new reporting system to track incidents of violence. If there is no reporting mechanism, inform your m and chair or labor rep. Report every incident of violence through the formal system that your facility creates. If there's any retaliation or threat or even discouragement from reporting, you should contact your m and chair or local law enforcement. Finally, ask your manager if local law enforcement knows about the facility's new violence prevention plan. This is our biggest win at the Capitol in 10 years. We should be proud of the work that we've done to make our hospital safer for ourselves and our patients. It's incredible to see what we can do when we combine the experience and passion of thousands of nurses. I look forward to seeing you at the Capitol.